Good evening. While we get settled in to get started, I just want to remind everybody that we have special VIP seating on, um, on my right, your left over here for our student finalists. So if our student finalists will come over to this side, we've got this award ceremony down to a science, so to speak. And uh, it works really well to have them here. They can get up and down for awards, and there many of them are uh, up and down for different ones, whether they're special awards or place awards. So if you don't mind sitting on this side in your category, that will expedite everything for us tonight. So thank you. Well, welcome and good evening. My name is Judy Griffin, and I am a curriculum specialist with the School District of Manatee County, and I'm the Manatee County Lockheed Martin uh, Fair Director. It's my pleasure to be able to uh, coordinate the fair and work with the teachers and the administrators and your, your wonderful, talented students every year. Going to state and uh, chaperoning is one of my favorite things and one of the best parts of my year. Uh, we begin our program tonight with a retrospective of our 2013 Regional Science and Engineering Fair. And um, we want to thank Lockheed Martin, who is our supporter and our, has supported science education in Manatee County through generous contributions through the Manatee Education Foundation. So we're going to show you a short video that showcases our talented student researchers in this year's event. science because it teaches you more about the world than any other field of study. Uh, history doesn't teach you as much about the world as science does. So it just really explains all those questions we had. The title of my project is Magnetohydrodynamics. Uh, it's a saltwater thruster with no moving parts. I created uh, thrusters uh, that use the principle of magnetohydrodynamics, which is the perpendicular forces of magnetic field and electric field, and it creates thrust. This is my evaporator condenser for solar water purification. Um, through here, um, enters hot water from a solar thermal panel, and the hot water is um, sprinkled on the evaporative cooling pads which is blown up by the fan, which causes the water to evaporate. Science is amazing because you can do so many things with it. And I mean, yes, it can be frustrating, but it's fun. You just got to find what you like to do. And I found what I like to do, so. Everything we learn and do relates back to science. So you should always know what's happening and going on in the science world because one way or another, it will always affect you. My project was on caffeine and the placebo effect. I tested a group with caffeine and I tested their speed, accuracy, and concentration and then I did the same thing with the placebo group. Um, my parents both drink a lot of coffee in the morning and so I kind of wanted to do something to see if it was actually helping. It's not for guys or for geeks, it's for everybody because there's so many different areas in science that there's something for everyone. I made a tic-tac-toe game that I made by myself where it's invincible, meaning that you can never beat it, no one could win no matter who you are or what you try. If you look at these two results, you find out that adults are not that much smarter than a fifth grader. Science is everything. You could walk up to something and find this is science. Without science, really, there wouldn't be a world. Yeah, I'd like to thank all the Manatee County teachers who are behind the kids that are participating in the science fair. And I especially want to thank Judy Griffin. She has done this year in and year out. I've personally been involved in this for about 10, 11 years. She's been doing it forever. She does a great job. Thank you very much, Judy. Uh, we want to congratulate all the students with their hard work, and uh, they're all winners. Even to get this far, you've won at your school fair, you've gone through all the work to do the project, and you've come here to share it with others, and that's a stepping stone for, for more to come.
able to provide our students and teachers with a variety of unique hands-on learning opportunities that have enhanced our science curriculum in ways that we could not have been able to without their support. And I'd like to introduce Ms. Mary Glass, Director of the Manatee Education Foundation, who will be representing Gary Cambry, Communications Manager of Lockheed Martin tonight. And she wants to welcome you with a few words. Thank you, Judy. Gary Cambry from Lockheed Martin could not be here tonight, but he asked me to say a few words, and it is my pleasure to do that. The name Lockheed Martin is synonymous with Space Shuttle, just like the two that two of the winners will receive tonight. Lockheed Martin is a global security, aerospace, and information technology company that employs over 120,000 employees worldwide. This year marks their 100th anniversary. Lockheed Martin has generously supported the Science and Engineering Fair as the signature sponsor for the last six years. Lockheed Martin knows what will be needed in the future of engineering and the jobs will be replaced in the next decade. They will be looking for engineering students to fill those positions so they love to see the incredible work that our students create each year and they encourage this enthusiasm and design for engineering that supports STEM projects and programs in our schools. Congratulations to all the students here tonight who participated in the science fair, and may you stay inspired and pursue careers in the field of STEM. Our country depends on it. I also congratulate Lockheed Martin for all they do for our community and the school district. We're very fortunate to have a prestigious company like Lockheed Martin in Manatee County and supporting our school district. Thank you. And we have a uh, special featured guest speaker tonight, and uh, you'll find the information on our special speaker inside your program, if you just turn it open. Uh, our speaker is a former student of Nolan Middle School who attended the State Science and Engineering Fair all three years of her middle school career. Since then, she has continued on to advance and hone her scientific research and has mostly recently received recognition as the 2012 Google Science Fair Grand Prize winner for her project titled Global Neural Network Cloud Service for Breast Cancer. Joining us tonight to share the importance of science fair and science research is Brittany Winger. Help me to welcome her. Thank you guys so much for having me here tonight. I'm so excited to be with you all. I have so many fond memories of my time at Nolan and of my time at Manatee County. So the first year I'd ever been to a county science fair, I came to Manatee. I was really excited, I was really nervous, I didn't really know what to expect, and I just had my teacher, Karen Molesky, who's over there right now, who just kept saying, you can do it. And I was excited, so judging went well, and I had a great time at the fair. I met a lot of other kids who are also interested into science, and my passion grew. That year, I was fortunate enough to be selected as one of the students to go to state with Manatee County. If you guys get to go to state tonight, get ready. States are amazing, and I have so many fond memories. While I was there, I saw tons of kids in one room who were all passionate about science, and the atmosphere was so contagious. I listened to these Jason Colloquial speakers, and I thought, maybe someday if I'm a senior and I'm as cool as them, I could stand on that stage and give a speech as well, because those were the kids I wanted to be, the kids who were science fair heroes. I also enjoyed talking to some of Florida's top scientists about my research who were well versed in it. But the state science fair isn't just about the science. In fact, I have a lot of fond memories that were completely unrelated. I remember my sixth grade year, I wanted everybody to think I was mature and cool, and I had on this white suit type thing. And um, we were eating pizza during lunch, and I managed solidly to spill pizza all over myself. Needless to say, Judy whipped out a Tide pin, and some of the seniors helped me, and in 20 minutes we got it fixed. I was back into judging, and it was fine. 
Another really cool thing that Manatee does is every year there's a field trip that you do while you're at State Science Fair. So my eighth grade year, we went canoeing. And I might be good at science, but not, I'm not such a great canoeer. Needless to say, we were spinning around in circles. They switched who was rowing with me, we were still spinning around in circles. And he went canoeing for fun. That's how bad I was. Eventually, Larry actually had me take my shoelace out of my shoe and we were, we were towed in and all safe and sound. And the great thing about Manatee Science Fair is even after the states are over, after counties over, the connections I've made have lasted with me. And I still talk to some of the people I've met because we all share that passion for science. So I definitely have to say that my time at Manatee County, seeing how great Science Fair was and seeing what science could really do, has completely influenced how I've chosen to spend my high school life and how I choose to spend my work going forward. So what exactly did I do? Well, my last year's project was Global Neural Network Cloud Service for Breast Cancer, and it really stems out of that passion that I developed when I was little. I've always been that kid who asks questions, but it wasn't until Science Fair that I really found that my answer for my questions could come from doing independent research. So currently my work combines medical research and computer science to improve breast cancer diagnostics. I taught the computer how to answer one simple question, as a breast mass, malignant, or benign? Now this is really important because one in eight women are impacted with breast cancer. And these statistics are just startling and unfortunately, they're on the rise. However, they become so much more than numbers when someone you know is impacted with the disease. For me, that happened when I was in 10th grade. My cousin was diagnosed with breast cancer and I knew right then that I wanted to get involved and make a difference. So how did I go about making a difference? I decided to try to revive the fine needle aspirate. The FNA is the least invasive procedure a woman can have. It's also the cheapest and the quickest. However, it's so inconclusive that most doctors refuse to use them. And that's a real problem. So I created a computer program that models the brain's neurons and their interconnections so it can actually detect patterns that are far too complex for humans to detect. Now I've been interested in artificial intelligence for a while. I actually started with my first neural networks when I was in seventh grade. I was taking this Nolan futuristic thinking course and I became so enthralled that I went out, I bought a coding book and decided that that was what I was going to focus on. So the way the neural network works is it's going to feed in inputs that are relevant to breast cancer. Things like clump thickness, are the cells mono or multi-layered? Because if they're mono-layered, that's a lot more indicative of a benign mass, whereas multi-layered is a lot more indicative of cancer. It then converts them into their binary representation and into this artificial input layer. Now, binary numbers are ones and zeros, so the digital spike is actually a lot like how the brain waves are either firing or not. The artificial input layer and the hidden layer that make 216 connections. And the way the computer program models the brain is actually via math. So these artificial input nodes are multiplied by a corresponding weight matrix, and the computer figures out what numbers to put there, and then they're summed up via a summation function. These summed values are then sent to a sigmoid activation function that converts the number on a scale of 0 to 1, 1 being this node is definitely firing, 0 being this node is off and doesn't matter. A similar process occurs between the hidden layer and the output layer until the neural network reaches a conclusion. After that was working successfully, I deployed it to the cloud, because the cloud is just this amazing elastic entity that can scale to support usage by every hospital in the world. The way the cloud actually works is literally, my program sits up there in cyberspace and it waits for a message to call it. Anything can call it and access my program. So I think a lot of you may have noticed that science is no easy task. And what's great about science is sometimes your flopped experiments are just as important as your successful ones. So my program actually failed twice before it was successful. The first time, there were more errors than code, scrapped the whole thing. The second time, it compiled, I was so excited, I started running my tests, and it was solidly worse than flipping a coin at diagnosing breast cancer. But I was really able to learn what I used from those two attempts to create this third program. So the reason my program works so much better than any other trials or any commercial products is one, it's using raw unformatted data. There's no doctor going in and telling the computer what to do. Two, I have this artificial input layer, which makes it more brain-like. And then I, have, I also have heavy malignant weighting. So on a scale of zero to one, I'm only going to call a mass benign if it's under 0.2 because it's really important to diagnose cancer patients correctly. 
And then my inconclusive logic is really kind of cool. If you think about it, everybody in this room learns a little bit differently. Well, the computer's like that too. So every time a neural network is created, it learns a little bit differently than any of the other neural networks. So I simultaneously create 10 different neural networks, and if they don't all agree on a diagnosis, then that's how the mass is deemed inconclusive. So if you were to go online to cloudforcancer.aspot, this is what you would find, and doctors can go on and use it, and then click send, and literally that's how long it would take to generate a response. So the current neural network is working really well. It is 99.1% sensitive to malignancy, and this number is huge, because that's a number that could save lives and a number that could mean the network's hospital ready. That also makes it about 5% better than the leading commercial product I tested. And I've run an additional 7.6 million trials. And I've proven that as I get more data, the success rate should only increase, while the inconclusive rate should only decrease. So the reason I'm no longer at Manatee County is because I moved to Sarasota. So today was actually our county science fair, which was a blast. I absolutely love science fair. And um, my current research is actually extending this program to diagnose leukemia based on genetic profiles. So it's trying to figure out, based on what the cell is doing, which type of leukemia that has. And it has huge implications because it can also try to identify which proteins might be causing the cancer so that certain drugs can be developed to target them. I'm also really excited because I was recently named the Google Grand Prize winner, and this has just given me this incredible platform that I can use to share my research with the world. So on the breast cancer side of things, I'm actually working with a hospital up in Philadelphia to test the program. And the European Institute of Oncology in Italy is sending me 400 dubious samples. So science fair is not only fun, but it creates an incredible world of opportunities. And this year, I have had a blast. So the top picture is actually a picture of me at Google Zurich. So they sent me to Switzerland. I got to meet with all these other kids who are really into coding. And we, right there, we're building a tower out of um, raw noodles. Tons of fun little quirky things like that. The middle picture for you um, sports fans, I actually got to met, meet Ben Zorbis. It was one of the interviews I was doing. He was also doing one. He's a really get, great guy if you get to know them. He actually helped me carry my science fair board. So very down to earth, very amazing person. Um, that middle one um, on the side is from Phoenix. And that's us with MC Hammer. And the two other kids in the picture are from Swaziland. And they were also Google science fair winners. So I really have this network of friends who are a lot like me, which is incredible. And then, um, let's see, that's Hillary Clinton in the middle. And she actually called and invited me to go to the UN General Assembly Equal Futures Partnership launch. And so that was absolutely incredible to see the type of legislation that's getting pushed through for women in science. I also got to speak at TEDx Women and TEDx Atlanta. At TEDx Women, there are over 17,000 people watching. And when you think about that, that's just a huge opportunity for people to see your research and to want to get involved and to want to help you take it to the next level. In addition, the Google Science Fair was absolutely incredible. We spent three days on Google's campus. And the guy I'm standing with is actually Vint Cerf, who's the father of the internet. And these judges, they had Nobel laureates, et cetera, actually knew about our work, which was incredible. That picture with the tube is me at CERN, and I got to go to CERN because they're one of the partners with Google, and they do just incredible particle physics research, and some of it applies to cancer as well. But that was in Geneva, so I also got to travel to Switzerland via science fair. That bottom picture, I also got to go to breastcancer.org, which was in Philadelphia, and they're working with me to try to improve the program and to try to improve people using it, like getting the word out. And then actually this week I leave and I'm going to LA to shoot something for the doctors on the 7th, which is like a talk show. So it's been absolutely amazing to see the response that my program's getting and to see how many people really are out there to help me. So congratulations to getting here because, for getting here because it's really an amazing, it's an amazing achievement just to get this far. I remember sitting at these awards ceremonies on the seat of my chair, so excited to be here. And, um, when I look out into the audience, I'm really excited because as cliche as it sounds, we are the future. And we're the future scientists, the future doctors, the future coders, the future engineers. And together, we're going to be working to solve some of the world's greatest challenges. So it's such an honor to be here. I can't see, wait to see what we do together. And science is fun. It's an amazing, it's just been an amazing experience for me and I hope you've enjoyed it too. Thank you so much for having me.
Thank you so much, Brittany. Um, thank you for sharing your science fair journey with us, and we loved having you the three years that you were with us in middle school. And um, as you heard, um, many successful endeavors are ones that have a personal you have a personal interest in to start with. So think about what is it that you're interested in that you have a passion for that you want to research, just like Brittany did, as you think about your project for next year. So we wish you your best and your continued education, Brittany, and we'll be following you to find out where you go. We've got great things. And joining us tonight are special guests to help us congratulate each and one of you for your efforts. We have our school board member, Miss um, Karen Carpenter. She's our board chair, and she'd like to say hello and welcome as well. Good evening. Uh, before I congratulate everybody, as an old school teacher or a former school teacher, I want to give you all an assignment. Uh, the best book I've read in years is a book about science and medical advancement and development called The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. If you haven't read it, it's a really significant book on the development of cancer and how um, uh, a woman's a woman had cancer and her cells were harvested without her permission and they became the petri dish for uh, all sorts of development of, uh, of cancer um, medicine and research it is a fabulous fabulous story uh, I want to uh, again uh, thank Brittany uh, the work you're doing is very cutting-edge I'm a breast cancer survivor so thank you very much for keeping doing uh, doing that work The, uh, the work that all of you do will not only enrich your lives in medicine and the way you live, the way you communicate, the way some people can travel to space, um, the way the environment is enhanced, it's very, very critical work. So I thank each of the students for your outstanding hard work. And I also want to thank the parents, teachers, principal. I think I saw some grandparents here as well and all the people who have supported the students. Thank you, students, for the work you're doing. I know my life will be better because of what you're doing, and I know that your own life will be better because of your dedication to um, your science and technology. Thank you, and congratulations again. <laughs> And I do want to recognize a few people before we start into our awards. Um, it takes not only a uh, community, but a school district to, to make these events uh, occur. And I'd like to recognize and uh, just welcome Linda Guilfoyle, our director of curriculum back here. She's very instrumental. And also with us tonight is Mr. Jim Polly, director of our secondary schools. And from our curriculum team, uh, Ms. Diane Thompson. Diane's probably in the back. She's taking pictures for us tonight. And she's been very instrumental in all the details to get everything ready and uh, a huge help, as, as well as Rose Jones. Melinda Lundy, who's our curriculum specialist, is here with our awards tonight. And we have a couple of uh, teachers in our district that have a special passion for science fair, and they are back in the background helping with every every bit of what we uh, do to get ready for this and that's uh, miss pat zalos science teacher <laughs> Pat's over here and dr larry gaudioso is in the back helping us with our awards and kristen cunningham is our one of our science teachers from nolan middle And we have community partners that are also essential. And if um, Kim Gessling will come up, please. Um, the State College of Florida, several years ago, took on the awesome task of helping us with our judges. And um, they do a wonderful job. And of course, they have a lot of the judges there and their faculty that come and support us. So this year and the last three years, actually, she's helped us with that. And she coordinated up close to 50 judges for the two days that we had. And um, it's right down to the minute with changes and people here and there and what categories they want to be in. And it's really an essential part in, of, of what we do. And we really appreciate it, Kim. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. 
Every year our judges um, are so complimentary of your work students, and this year especially they were. They kept saying to me independently, they would come up and say, these students are so mature. I was never mature like that when I was that age, and I've never, I, they're so articulate. I can't believe the kinds of research they're thinking of and what they're doing and how professional they are. So kudos to all of you. The, the judges extend their congratulations to you, and they were uh, so pleased to have to, to be able to come and volunteer their time to uh, hear your great work and supportive of you as well. Um, the Manatee River Fair Association is also instrumental in the extension office. They give us the tickets that you, uh, that you receive to come into the fair for judging those nights. They help us with the facilities, so we, we appreciate their support as well. We know science fair starts with a lot of hard work and dedication, and that starts with our, our schools and our teachers. Um, if you look to the second to the last page of your program, you'll see a list of uh, schools and teachers there. And uh, hopefully we did get everyone. I noticed one was left off. If you're a teacher here tonight and you've helped with science fair, would you stand up for us in the audience? There's quite a few of you. Everybody stand up. And um, parents, you're also very essential in this as well, uh, um, as, long as, as well as our principals and administrators. We have several other principals and administrators. If you're an administrator uh, in our schools, will you stand up as well? All of our schools have the science research starts right there at their school. Uh, some, some of you start it in the summer even before you come for the year that you're coming into. You start thinking of your questions and your research and you have it ready so that you're ready to go to start your year with science fair. Uh, and you have your, do all your research, do all your paperwork, everything starts there and then you have your school fair and that's, uh, all of that is very important from there. And of course, there's one more crucial element and that's the parents. Parents, all of you that encourage and chauffeur and uh, prod and assist in the learning process, we appreciate you too. So let's give them, our parents, all a hand as well. And we want to thank Braden River High School for this beautiful auditorium tonight. Um, thank you all of you for the success and for our times. Uh, that we're able to be here. So we're going to put a PowerPoint slide up of some student names. We're going to start with our special awards. When we affiliate with International Science and Engineering Fair, they give us um, an opportunity to give additional awards. So the students, if you see your name up there, I'd like you to start, if you'd go ahead and make your way over to the ramp in the back and come on up. Uh, we're going to get you started for our special awards at this time. As they come up, I have two important reminders. If you'll stay to the very end of the ceremony, after the special awards, we'll have our category awards, and that'll be our place awards for each of our uh, categories. And then we have our final state awards and then our international awards as well. All students will be recognized for their participation in the Lockheed Martin Regional Science and Engineering Fair, and we have cupcakes afterwards in the cafeteria across the, um, the way here. So uh, as we begin our special awards tonight, excuse me, Mr. Weiner just came. Oh, great. And uh, another board member, Mr. Watchdog David Miner is here. We appreciate you being here tonight. Thank you. So we'll go ahead and start with our special awards and um, Let me just give you one more reminder too. Uh, the state finalists, I'll have a quick meeting for you all at the very end right here in front. I have some very important information I need to get to you and your teachers. So if you're a teacher of a student going to state or an administrator, I've got packets for you as well as, as um, the parents. So don't rush off for those cupcakes. We'll make sure you have some, okay, at the very end. So beginning with our special awards. Um, some students will receive both special and place awards, so we're going to ask for you all to come back to your seating area because you may have to be coming around again. Our first special award presenter that's joining us tonight is Rod Stickler for the Diane Stickler Innovation Award. This award is, in our, this is our second annual 
Award, and it's in honor of a very special friend to Science Fair. Diane Stickler loved Science Fair, and she was one of our assistants here. And we started this award for, in her honor so that um, we could remember her interest and continue on with, with her love of Science Fair. And she loved to be creative, she was very organized, and so we always look for a project that exemplifies that. So this year we have a special project, and uh, we'll have Rod come on up. And um, it's very hard to pick, but one always stands out, especially for this. This one was very, very creative. Um, it was very well done. Every detail was, was taken attention to. And uh, the title of it was The Invincible Tic-Tac-Toe Game. You saw it in the video. And that goes to um, Nolan Middle School's Jordan Cornelius. You didn't come, come on up. <laughs> and uh, Jordan will be receiving a $100 cash award. <laughs> Our next award is for the Keep Manatee Beautiful Education Committee. And Pat Gallagher is going to introduce their wonderful committee that provides great awards for us in this area every year. We're going to ask the uh, committee just to come up and rather than to do the individual names, we wanted to give you a little bit of an idea of the makeup of Keep Manatee Beautiful and the type of businesses that are involved. Tonight we have representing on the, from the Education Committee, we have um, Hope Family Services, we have Boys and Girls Club here with us tonight, Tuscany Lakes Apartments, Manatee County Sheriff's Department, Florida Department of Juvenile and Justice in the School District of Manatee County. Okay, we'll start with the junior awards there. First place is, um, well, let's start with the honorable mention first for juniors. And that goes to uh, Isabel Colosia from Lincoln Middle School. The third place award goes to Marissa Hudson from Buffalo Creek Middle School. And second place goes to Daniela Spring from Braden River Middle School. And the first place award, which is a $50 cash gift and a plaque, goes to Zachary Morris and Jake Cruvilla from Johnson Middle School. It's a team project. Congratulations to all of you. Our senior awards for Keep Manatee Beautiful start with honorable mention, Kendall Mackey from Manatee High School. And our third place is Victoria Carmen from Palmetto High School. Our second place is from Jared Del Rose, Braden River High School. And first place, which is also a $50 gift card and plaque, goes to Valeria Mikhailova from Braden River High School. We thank uh, Keep Manatee Beautiful, and uh, we are open to other community groups that would like to um, offer special awards just like they do. They just came and said, we would love to partake in increased science uh, research and honor those students, and they've done that. Thank you so much. Our next special um, award is from the Florida Association of Science Teachers, and that's a certificate and a $25 uh, cash award. And that goes to our uh, junior student first is Ryan Rogers from Nolan Middle School. And our senior award from the uh, Florida Association of Science Teachers goes to Chloe Hollins from Manatee High School. Thank you. 
Next, we have awards from the Army and uh, Navy. And uh, we have a pre special presenter, Lieutenant Colonel Pugh from Palmetto High School. We appreciate him. He's, he seems to come most every year. We really appreciate you coming out tonight uh, to honor us. He's a JROTC instructor there. He's going to give both the United States Army and United States Navy awards. Students will receive a Distinguished Achievement Award certificate signed by the Secretary of the Army and a cash award. And the most outstanding will receive an on, uh, Army Bronze Medallion for Science and Engineering Excellence. And we were actually able to give a couple additional um, um, awards this year. And a, a team project again for Jake Cruvella and Zachary Morris from Johnson Middle School. In the physical science area, um, Southeast High School, Nikhil Patel. In the area of mathematics, Kara Peters from Manatee High. And for the uh, environmental area, Katherine Zimmerman, Braden River High School. And I'm gonna ask all of you to stand and wait up here with us for just a minute. For um, the life science area, Mark Samat. The senior engineering area, Alyssa Bill. Alyssa's from Manatee School for the Arts. Kendall Mackey from Manatee High School. And of those students, the judges were asked to do a final um, most outstanding winner, and that's a medallion and a $50 um, savings bond, and that goes to Katherine Zimmerman. Next, we'll move to our Navy Distinguished Achievement Award. It's given for analytical and creative development in science and engineering. The junior awards receive a certificate and a medallion, and the senior awards receive a letter, a certificate, and a $50 gift card. Our um, middle school awards go to Renee Ashby from Nolan Middle School. Kevin Mendel, Hale Middle School. Mason Rademacher from Hale Middle School. And our two high school awards go to Christopher Gary from Manatee High. and Michael Trobeev from Southeast High School. We also are fortunate to be able to have a representative from the Manatee Chapter of the Air Force Association here with us tonight, and they've given us some special awards just from their chapter. And so our Air Force Award today will receive um, a Certificate of Achievement, an award medallion with a ribbon, a, a memorial calendar, and a Nice Times uh, book publication on new space discoveries, as well as a backpack filled with some special items from their rec recruiting office. And that award, goes to Mason Rademacher from Hale Middle School. She didn't come up. Um, our next award is another community award that we've just started giving from the Charlotte Harbor National Estuary Program. And Mr. Mike Miller is here tonight to just say a few words about this 
award. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. I'm Matt Miller. I'm representing the Charlotte Harbor National Estuary Program. And for the third year, the Charlotte Harbor National Estuary Program would like to recognize outstanding students whose help works fulfill the program's comprehensive conservation and management plan at each of the five science fairs held within our study area. Uh, if projects are site specific, we prefer they occur within our boundaries. Each student will receive $100 will be asked to submit an article for the website and will include a profile of the project and Harbor Happenings, uh, which is a newsletter with 12,000 subscribers. Uh, during the years we hold uh, Charlotte Harbor Watershed Summit, the student will also be invited to exhibit at the summit. So we're proud to announce uh, this year's winner is uh, Kendall Mackey with Manatee High School. Okay, our next award comes from the American Meteorological Society, and that goes to Tiffany Rojas from Nolan Middle School. And Kylie Amiris from Manatee High School. The American Psychological Association Award goes to Michael Moran from Southeast High School. The Mu Alpha Theta Award goes to Mark Samat from Lakewood Ranch High School. The National Society for Professional Engineers and Innovative Engineer Award, which is a certificate and a lapel pin, go to Katherine Zimmerman from Braden River High School. NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric, Atmospheric Administration, which also gives a medallion and a certificate and a letter of congratulations, goes to Grace Hill from Hale Middle School. The U.S. Metric Association gives a certificate every year for the use of metrics in your projects. And that goes to Joseph Cucci from Manatee High School. Stockholm Junior Water Prize for Water Environment Federation gives a certificate and also students will have an opportunity to um, be put in for another award as well. Goes to three of our students, Victoria Carmen from Palmetto High School. Keegan Murphy from Manatee High School. And Kendall Mackey from Manatee High School. We've seen Kendall up a lot. She, her research that she did this year was very popular with the judges. And uh, the Yale Science and Engineering Award this year goes to Gina Trailer from Braden River High School. And last but not least is our Association for Women Geo Geoscientists in Earth and Space Science, and that goes to Katie Stintzer from Nolan. And that concludes our special awards that we have tonight, and so we're ready to get into our place awards for our categories. And in order to expedite this part of our award ceremony, I, what I'm going to ask you to do is if you'd hold your applause till the very end of the category, we um, recognize every student um, if they're able to come tonight with a certificate, whether or not they've gotten a place award or not, but we feel it's so important to, to honor and recognize all the great work they did just to get here to our regional fair. So if, if you'll wait till the very end um, of the category, I'd like to ask our senior and junior behavioral and social science and biochemistry categories. So our behavioral and our 
uh, biochem, if you'll go ahead and line up at the back with Ms. Zalo there, please. And um, when your name is called, I'm going to have you come on stage like you saw everybody do. You'll have your certificate already, and you'll, you'll uh, shake hands, and you'll turn for the camera so we can make sure to get your picture for the video. We want to thank Manatee Educational Television um, and Charles Clapsaddle for their dedication every year. He and his staff come out, they come to judging, they talk to our kids, they put together our promotional video, and then they will also put together a 30-minute video that they'll be airing on their station. So you can go on their website and look for their calendar, and they play it at different times, usually for several weeks in a row. And look for that, and then you can watch uh, the edited version of our um, um, ceremony tonight, or for family or friends and others, if you want to tape it, that you could do that then as well. It'll show, uh, in, it will be airing sometime in February. So as you, for your place awards, um, you're going to actually pick those up with, with Kristen and Melinda at the table right at the back there before you step off stage. Please note as we do our category awards that not every category has an award at every level. That was given at the uh, discretion of our judges. So I think we have our behavioral and social science participants ready. So we'll start with our certificates of achievement for exemplary science achievement. And I'm going to call them. They may not all be here, but we're going to go ahead and say their names tonight. Rachel Bonami from Hale Middle School. And if we'll wait, uh, wait, on, the, wait on the applause till the very end. Alex Brown from St. Joseph. Cole Clark from Braden River Middle. Felicity. De Gantano from Sug Middle School, Ryan Endrenfeld, St. Joseph Catholic School, Caitlin Folsom, Hale Middle School, Megan Johnson, King Middle School, Michael Ordix, Nolan Middle School. For the Behavioral and Social Sciences Junior Division Honorable Mention goes to Genevieve Henson. The third place award goes to Aiden Kelly, our second place award goes to Alana Kelly. And our first place state award goes to Cameron Burton Jones, Johnson Middle School. Let's give them all a round of applause. Would our botany category participants please make your way to line up over on the um, side there, please, with Ms. Zalo? For our Behavioral and Social Sciences Senior Division, Certificate of Achievement for Exemplary Science goes to Jordan Terrell, Southeast High School. Our Honorable Mention Award goes to Caitlin Muma from Braden River High School. Third place goes to Tristan Elveth, Man uh, Braden River High School. Allegra Smart is our second award winner, Manatee High School. And our first place winner goes to Alexandra Mackey, Manatee High School. Let's give them all a round of applause. In the Biochemistry Junior Division, Certificates of Achievement for Exemplary Science Achievement goes to Katherine Hos Hoskinson, Braden River Middle School, Lauren Olmsted, Buffalo Creek Middle School, Devin Peters, Nolan Middle School, Leah Riggle, Nolan Middle School, Jenna Sevick, Hale Middle School, Stephen Trottier, Sug Middle School. And honorable mention in biochemistry junior goes to Corey Orlando, Braden River Middle School. Third place is Taylor Trevithick, Nolan Middle School. Second place goes to uh, Elaney Mason, Buffalo Creek Middle School. And first place award winner for Biochemistry Junior Division goes to Emily Strimmer, Nolan Middle School. Let's give them all a round of applause. Would the chemistry category please line up now? In our Biochemistry Senior Division, our Certificate of Achievement for Exemplary Science goes to Brett Witham, 
Southeast High School. Honorable, uh, excuse me, um, second place winner goes to Mark Samat Lakewood Ranch High School. And first place goes to Jonna Glover, Manatee High School. Let's give them a round of applause. Our Botany Junior Division Certificate of Achievement for Exemplary Science Achievement. We had a large category. We had 18 projects in this one. Karina Ad Adamson, Nolan Middle School. Caitlin Ames, Buffalo Creek Middle School. Haley Barnes, Nolan Middle School. Courtney Barati, St. Joseph Catholic School. Danielle Bull, St. Joseph Catholic School. Sydney Chambers, Hale Middle School. Madison Halfley, Braden River Middle School. Gillian Murphy, Buffalo Creek Middle School. Emma Reinish, Johnson Middle School. Periash Sukla, Johnson Middle School. Carissa Wong, Lee Middle School. And our honorable mention award for our Botany Junior Division goes to Allison Ecker Sugg Middle. Our third place award goes to Marissa Hudson, Buffalo Creek Middle School. Second place is Julie Cotton, Nolan Middle School. And our first place award winner goes to James Shaver, Braden River Middle School. Let's give them a round of applause. Would uh, Computer and Earth um, and Planetary please line up now? Botany Senior Division Certificate of Achievements for Exemplary Science Achievement goes to Ricky Allard, Palmetto High, Victoria Carmen, Palmetto High, Cielo Bella, Chester, uh, Southeast High School, Colin Cronin, Braden River High, Jared Del Rose, Braden River High, Tiana Herrera, Southeast High School, Abriel Letter, Southeast High School, Caitlin Wilson, Manatee High, our second place award for Botany Senior Division goes to Josh Meyer from uh, Bayshore High School and Chloe Hollins from Manatee High School. That's uh, second place is Josh, first place is Chloe. Thank you. Let's give them a round of applause. Chemistry Junior Division. We had 20 whopping projects. It was, it was our largest category for chemistry juniors. Um, our Certificate of Achievement for Exemplary Science goes to Maya Carazales, Harley Middle, Kenia Sarik Bello, Harley Middle, Allie Daniel, Nolan Middle, Nicole Dinius, Sug Middle, Anna Jolia, Sug Middle, Alexandra Graham, Harley Middle, Ashton Johnson, King Middle, Aaron McClure, Hale Middle, Sophia Metallo, Hale Middle, Zandria Mitchell, Harley Middle, Caroline Smith, King Middle, Zoe Solar, Hale Middle, Zachary Spade, Nolan Middle, Tanisha Woods, Lee Middle. And we had a tie, the judges had a tie for honorable mention for this category. And the first one goes to Diago Bracco from Nolan Middle School. Samantha uh, Gatanis from Buffalo Creek Middle School. Then our third place award winner goes to Ryan Franks from Braden River Middle. The second place award winner goes to Haley Kalako, uh, St. Joseph Catholic. And our first place winner in this category goes to Skyla Yost, Buffalo Creek Middle School. Our Chemistry Senior Division Certificate of Achievement goes to Danielle Gray, Braden River High School. The Honorable Mention Award for Chemistry and Seniors goes to Sean Ratana, Southeast High. Third place goes to Thomas Calandra, Braden River High. Our second place award goes to Gianna Trailer, Braden River High School. And our first place Chemistry Senior Award goes to Alto Quapong, Southeast High School. Would the engineering category please line up now? In computer science, 
we had no senior projects again, and we have this great $200 cash award we can give, and it has to be a high school student. I'd like to encourage some of you that are either going into high school or in high school to do some computer research next year. It's a great award to be able to give, and it's a category that's um, up and coming, obviously. In uh, junior computer science, for certificate of achievement for exemplary work goes to Giovanni Sioni from Buffalo Creek Middle School, Hannah Cafaro, Hale Middle, Blake O'Neill, Hale Middle, and then the Honorable Mention Award goes to Jacob Derricks, Braden River High. Third place winner in the Computer Junior is Callan Hagar, King Middle. Second place is Dominic Romano, Romano Nolan Middle. And our first place Computer Junior Award it goes to Jordan Canales, Nolan Middle. And I think we've got our engineering uh, up there lining up. If not, be sure to go on up now. And we'll have environmental health, uh, environmental category go up next, if you will. For Earth and Planetary Sciences Junior Division, our Certificate of Achievements for Exemplary Science Achievement go to Morgan Flannery Sug Middle, Jack O'Donnell, Braden River Middle, Tiffany Rojas, Nolan Middle, Katie Stintzer, Nolan Middle, and in this category for Junior Division Earth and Planetary, our honorable mention goes to Olivia Yaguro, Nolan Middle. Our third place award goes to Sarah Doubleair, Hale Middle. And our second place award goes to Dominic DeGastano, Sug Middle. And our first place Junior Earth, Space, Earth and Planetary award goes to Grace Hill, Hale Middle. In the environmental, um, oh, we're going to do Earth and Planetary Senior Division next. Um, and that uh, award, a third place award, goes to Kylie Amaris from Manatee High School. In the Engineering Division, Junior Division Certificates Achievement for Exemplary Science, goes to Ryan Ashby, Nolan Middle, Alyssa Bill, Aubrey Carey, Lee Middle, Riley Choate, Buffalo Creek Middle School, Andre Fonesca, Braden River Middle School, Kristen Haight, Valeria Kressel, King Middle, Joshua Lossick, uh, Sug Middle, Michaela Rodriguez, Braden River Middle, Colin Rodis, King Middle, Jonah Sinclair, Nolan Middle. For our Engineering Junior Division Honorable Mention Award goes to Kevin Mendel, Hale Middle. Our third place winner is Hannah Arduini, Hale Middle. Our second place award goes to Mason Rademacher, Hale Middle. And our first place award in Junior Engineering goes to Renee Ashby Nolan Middle. Let's give them all a hand. Okay, we should have environmental up ready. Um, if you're not already, go on up. And our Engineering Senior Division Certificates for Achievement for Excellence in Research goes to Paul Wangett, Braden River High. And Honorable Mention Award in our Engineering Senior Division goes to Rachel Rothfeld, Manatee High School. The third place Engineering Award goes to Jessica Schaefer, Manatee High School. Our second place award goes to Christopher Gary, Manatee High School. And our first place Engineering Senior Division Award goes to Katherine Zimmerman, Braden River High School. <laughs> uh, 
Environmental Junior Division is next. And uh, while we start to call those, would math and medicine and health category participants please come and line up, please. An Environmental Junior Division. This was another, this was tied with 20 projects as well. This was very large. Our Certificates of Achievement for recognition of their research goes to Eric Cruz, Sug Middle, Jacob Dotz, Sug Middle, Logan Foster, Buffalo Creek, Jake Cruvilla, Johnson Middle, Matthew Mardonis, King Middle, Abigail McGowan, Sug Middle, Caitlin Mac Mc uh, McNa McNara, Sug Middle, Zachary Morris, Johnson Middle, Dean Neal, Hale Middle, Devin Peters, Nolan Middle, Marley Price, Hale Middle, Julia Schwartz, Braden River Middle, Danielle Spring, Braden River Middle, Luke Velotti, King Middle. And in our environmental junior category, our honorable mention goes to Isabella Colossia, Lincoln Middle School. Our third place award goes to Troy Robinson, St. Joseph Catholic. Our second place environmental junior goes to Katrina Winkler, Nolan Middle, and our first place environmental junior award goes to Madeline Kumar, Nolan Middle. <laughs> environmental uh, senior division certificate of achievement goes to Victoria Carmen, Palmetto High. Our honorable uh, third place award, actually, third place award for Environmental Senior Division goes to Rosanna Marshall, Braden River High. Second place goes to Valeria Mikhailova, Braden River High. And our first place Environmental Senior goes to Kendall Mackey, Manatee High. In the Mathematics Junior Division, Certificate of Achievement goes to Joshua Edelkine, King Middle, Ethan Farley, Braden River Middle, A.J. Lamarck, Nolan Middle, Ryan Rogers, Nolan Middle, and Mathematics Junior Division Honorable, or third place goes to Matthew Estes, Hale Middle, Second place mathematics for juniors goes to Alex Kumar, Nolan Middle. And our first place mathematics junior division award goes to Ben Price, Hale Middle. <laughs> mathematics is an area too that we ha usually have a small amount. We had a great group of juniors for math this year. And for seniors, we didn't have very many. We just had one student, so. Um, that's another good category to think about. For our Mathematics Senior Division, our first place award goes to Kara Peters, Manatee High. Our next category is Medicine and Health Junior Division. Certificates of Achievement for Outstanding Research goes to Cheyenne Barber, Lee Middle School, Haley Bogomil, St. Joseph Catholic, Megan Delacosta, Lee Middle, Emma Fenton, St. Joseph Catholic, Elandra Hernandez, Lee Middle, Krista Katowski, Lincoln Middle School, John Lynn, Braden River Middle School, Sierra Peavy, Sug Middle, Kemney Philippi, Lee Middle School, Hannah Reynolds, Hale Middle School, Brianna Thomas, Hale Middle School, Courtney Williams, Lincoln Middle School, Carter Wampy, Hale Middle School. And in the Medicine and Health Junior Division, for honorable mention, that award goes to Gray Ellis. Third place goes to Samantha Zellett, Braden River Middle. Second place in Medicine and Health goes to Caitlin Bohan, Nolan Middle. And our first place Medicine and Health Junior Division Award goes to Jason Edelkind from King Middle.
Would the microbiology category participants please come and line up now? And let's go ahead and have the uh, physics and astronomy also line up. For the Medicine and Health Senior Division, for honorable mention, we had a tie again. The judges had ties for the honorable mention category. The first honorable mention goes to Hunter Shaw, Southeast High School. The second honorable mention goes to Tyler Handley, Braden River High School. Third place Medicine and Health goes to Haley Evans. Second place goes to Joseph Cucci, Manatee High School. And first place Medicine and Health Senior Division goes to Rachel Neiman. Let's give them applause. In our Microbiology Junior Division, Certificates of Achievement go to Abigail Misayura, Hale Middle School. Honorable mention, there's another tie here. Honorable mention goes to Madison Rosenberg, Nolan Middle School. Honorable mention also goes to Haley Mercer, Nolan Middle School. Third place award winner goes to Kennedy McNabb, Braden River High School. Second place winner goes to Ryan Phillips, Braden River High School. And Microbiology Junior Division, first place award goes to Kara Zevany, Hale Middle School. Microbiology Senior Division, Certificates of Achievement. Taylor Haddad, Braden River High School. Corey Kinder, Palmetto High School. Hannah Menez, Braden River High School. Chandler Neiman, Braden River High School. And the Microbiology Senior Division Honorable Mention goes to Krista Edwards. Third place goes to Jacob Johnson. Second place goes to Monica Beard. Uh, Manatee High School for both of the last two and our first place microbiology senior division goes to Emily Wakeham Manatee High. <laughs> Would the zoology category please get lined up. Our physics and astronomy junior division was also very large. We had 18 projects in that category. Junior division certificates of achievement Gabrielle Francosis, uh, Buffalo Creek Middle School. Gianna Hager, King Middle School. Pranav Kamhampati, Nolan Middle School. Zachary Lyons, Sug Middle School. Callan McDonald, Buffalo Creek Middle School. Ike Miller, St. Joseph Catholic. Alicia O'Dell, King Middle. Jasmine Salinas, Braden River Middle School. Anna Sams, Sug Middle. Matthew Smith, Buffalo Creek Middle School. Michelle Sobolewski, Braden River Middle. Ryan Sullivan, Hale Middle School. And in our Physics and Astronomy Junior Division, Honorable Mention Award goes to Anna Zimmerman, Buffalo Creek Middle School. Third place goes to Stephen Romero, Nolan Middle School. Second place award goes to Benjamin Barha, Nolan Middle School, and our first place Physics and Astronomy Junior Division Award goes to Irene Chong Hale Middle School. In the Physics and Astronomy Senior Division, our Certificate of Achievement goes to Justin Stansel, Manatee High, Sophia Astrot, Southeast High School, Walter Preston, Manatee High School, and the Phys Physics and Astronomy Senior Division. Second place award winner is Patel Nikhil, Southeast High School, and first place is Trovi, or Michael Trovi, Southeast <laughs> High School. Let's give them applause. And last but not least, we're getting into our senior or uh, zoology category. You can see quite a variety of, of um, opportunities and areas of research, and um, 
that we have in, available to our students and they do a great job with it. In zoology with our junior division certificate of achievements goes to Ben Hoffner at Lincoln Middle School, Brendan Kidd, Hale Middle School, Savannah Kiwatz, King Middle School, Emily Laplaca, Nolan Middle School, Haley Velturi, Braden River Middle School, Madeline Whitmore, Nolan Middle School, Cassidy Wiseman, Sug Middle School. In zoology, junior division, honorable mention goes to Cassandra Solis, Lee Middle School. Third place goes to Nicole Lewis. Second place goes to Katherine Morin, Braden River Middle School. And first place zoology, junior division, goes to Audrey Price, Hale Middle School. Zoology Senior Division, honor, let's see, third place award goes to Davis Fulgram, Palmetto High School. Second place award goes to Leland Kelman, Palmetto High School. And Zoology Senior Division, first place award winner goes to Emily Lester, Manatee High School. And that concludes our category awards and place awards. And now we want to um, look at our state and international awards. Um, unfortunately, we don't have enough positions or slots from the state. They allocate a percentage of, of seats or um, um, places for each of the regions that affiliate with state. And so we always have more than we can actually send. So a first place award winner isn't always necessarily a state award winner. Uh, our judges help us uh, look at that and decide and they call out the ones that, are, that probably would um, be the best state quality and that's how we decide on our, our uh, state um, finalists that will go with us to Lake, uh, Lakeland this year. Before we do that, I do want to give our traveling trophy school award the heart, for the hard work of our schools for their Outstanding Participation and Paperwork Excellent Award. This is a traveling award, and it's given to a different school every year. The first year we started it, in the year 2009-10, uh, the award-winning school was Manatee High. In 2010 and 11, it was Nolan Middle School. In 2011-12, right here on River City, was Braden River High School last year that held the award. And this year's winner, um, and I'd like uh, the principal and um, our, the teacher coordinator to come up, please, is Nolan Middle School again. <laughs> so Ms. Nancy High and Kristen Cunningham, if you'd come up, please, for your trophy. You, you earned it every year. She, they didn't get it. After the first year, it's like, we're winning that trophy next year. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Judy. So um, I know you'll use this proudly, and uh, <laughs> you're very welcome. They did some ex they do some extra special things at their school every year to encourage science fair, and they have quite a bit of excitement. Um, and it's a lot a, a lot of great um, work they're doing there with their with their students. Okay, it's time to announce our state science and engineering finalist. As I said, the first place winners are not automatically selected to attend state. The finalists are selected from first place winners based on judges' recommendations. So please come up on stage as your name is called and stay to be recognized. Our um, state um, fair this year for our first winners, it's the 58th annual state science and engineering fair in uh, Lakeland, Florida, March 26th through the 28th. So here are our junior award state finalists. Cameron Burton-Jones, Johnson Middle School. You can give them applause. James Shaver, Braden River Middle School. Jordan Cornelius, Nolan Middle. Renee Ashby, Nolan Middle. 
Madeline Kumar, Nolan Middle. Ben Price, Hale Middle School. Jason Edelkind, King Middle School. If you would have, yeah, if everyone would stay up, thank you. Yeah. Kara Zevany, Nolan Middle School. Audrey Price, Hale Middle School. Those are our junior delegates for the State Science and Engineering Fair. And now our junior finalists are Johanna Glover, Manatee High. <laughs> Chloe Hollins, Manatee High. Alto Kwapong, Southeast High. Katherine Zimmerman, Braden River High School. Kendall Mackey, Manatee High. Emily Wakeham, Manatee High. And then Michael Trobe, Southeast High School. To help further their scientific pursuits, they're also receiving uh, annual student membership from South Florida Museum Bish uh, Bishop Planetarium and passes to Moat Marine Aquarium and the Florida Aquarium. And the Manatee River Fair Association is giving them a $25 cash award. So thank you to all of our community organizations for the extra awards for our senior finalists and junior finalists. Now, our best of show. We are allowed with our affiliation to pick two students as best to show winners, and they get to go to the International Science and Engineering Fair. Uh, you heard from Brittany earlier about that fair and, um, and all the possibilities. Actually, even State Fair has great possibilities with all kinds of connections that you make and scholarships um, and um, relationships that you'll have the rest of your life. So last week, our judges selected two high school student projects to earn the highest honor as being designated best to show. They're eligible to attend the International Science and Engineering Fair. This year, the International Science and Engineering Fair will take place in Phoenix, Arizona in May. In addition, these two winners will also receive a best to show cash award from Lockheed Martin which is a $250 cash award and these wonderful, beautiful shuttle, space shuttle replicas you see up here. Our first best to show project, this is what the judges said. Extraordinarily well-researched topic. The presentation um, of such a complex topic was excellent. The practical application from her research had the potential of positively affecting the world's food supply. This is a chemistry category. The title of the project was A Fine Mapping of Tobacco Mosaic Virus Resistant Gene in Phileas Vulgarius. And that goes to Jonna Glover from Manatee High School. Our second best to show project, the judges said, this project was scientifically sound, innovative, and has great potential for impacting the quality of life in many areas of the world. The presentation was articulate, clear, and professional. This is uh, an engineering category project, and the title of this project is Water for the World, a Solar-Powered Water <laughs> Purification System, and it goes to Katherine Zimmerman, Braden River High School. Catherine did a continuation project, and this is her second opportunity to go to international, so um, her research continues to really wow the judges, and they were very impressed. And I thought that she would be a great candidate for international again. So uh, I'd like to remind all of our state science and engineering fair finalists and their parents, if you'll gather at the front of the stage, uh, I have packets for you, I have packets for the teachers, so if there's a teacher administrator here, please take those. I have some important information that needs your immediate attention. 
uh, to get back to me following the awards here tonight for next week that's in the packet. Any awards that have not been picked up at this time, if, if you're uh, a parent or a friend or a, a, a staff member, you're welcome to check them out here. They'll, they'll mark them off that you've got them to take back. If not, we'll send them through the courier to the schools. We'd like to thank our special guests and all of our students and parents and teachers for joining us this evening. We have refreshments in the cafeteria. We want to give our uh, state award finalists a final applause. And congratulations to all of you and your great research. Keep, keep working at it. We look forward to seeing you next year for Science Fair.